and and from from the the feeling of the feeling <laughs> kind of do a check-in and I think this type of a mask this space helps me check in I, I think we wear some masks to check out in our day-to-day -day. and and there's nothing wrong with that but I think it's it's you got to be honest with with what you're doing what what you're doing think these things in your day for what you're what you're doing in your life and and why and and I've been thinking really hard on that lately. Why am I doing these things? And and how are they making me feel? And and am I doing it just to go through through the motions of 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 making it by? Or am I doing it because it fulfills me? Am I doing it for other people? Am I doing it because I need the others to see it or, or but, but, but really asking some questions on, on, on the things you're doing and explore that and explore what these different things in your life that you do do for you and play with that and there's nothing wrong with that just just to play and to notice to go back to this noticing of, of what's happening and And I'm learning that that the mistake that I feel when I wear a mask is is maybe not a mistake. Maybe it's something that I really am feeling and I need to feel. Interesting idea. The, the, this mask idea. I don't really know. I, I think it comes from. I, I think of it as, as a fear, a fear type of thought process, a, a way to notice the, the fears or no, notice the things. But I, I come back to fear. I come back to fear a lot. I often get fear confused. I like to think of there being two types of fear. I think there is fight or flight fear, and I think there is ego fear, e egoic fear. Fear that the ego doesn't want you to to prevail and I, I like to differentiate those two because one helps you evolve and one helps you essentially stay alive there's the fight or flight fear there's the fear that somebody's running after you and you have to go you have to make a decision right then and there and that's a that's a feeling that you you really innately feel there's a there's a there's a urgentness that comes up in that fear this fight or flight it is it is the life or death the switch in our in our in our in this animal body that that tells you go do something and then there's the other fear there's the ego fear that makes everything up the fear that that you aren't worthy the fear that you can't do it the fear that you're gonna die the metaphorically or mentally die or explode but this made up fear that comes out of nowhere I think it's important to differentiate those two because if you fight and you jump into that ego fear that's where magic happens that's the unknown that's taking the leap
the fight or flight fear is there to keep to to keep this uh, this organism alive. The other fear is there because I, it's 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 the ego trying to tell you not to get better, not to not to evolve, not to learn, not to to grow, not to connect. I think you have to dive into that ego fear. Take the leap. Say yes. Reach out. Communicate. I think that's the fear to push into. It's really scary. It's really scary. But every time I do that, every time I take that leap, I take that step, the little step, the big step, the whatever step, I walk in that direction, I go that path. That fear lessens. It, it slowly dissipates from the thing that I was fearing because I'm, I'm going towards it. It's easy to sit here and talk about it right now in this chair, sitting in this room, but I think it's a reminder for me, it's a reminder for, for everything that you have to walk into that. You have to go for it. Because it makes you better. It, it helps you evolve. It helps you, you push forward. And that's, that's a scary thing. Moving forward. Moving forward. It's really scary because, because that's the unknown. Sitting here and, and hitting my head against the wall over and over. It might hurt a little bit, but at least it's known. But that that's you're never gonna keep moving that way. You're just gonna sit in the same spot. And yeah, there's a comfort in that I'm here. It's at least it's safe here. It might hurt a little bit. But if I walk out into the unknown, it could be it could be worse or it could be but it's worth that leap because it doesn't feel so stagnant. There's a creative breath of fresh air that comes from taking that leap. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a feeling that you feel of excitement and, and, and wonder if you go into that fear. It's worth to push into that. And it comes in all different forms. It comes in small, big, left, right, up, down, anger, sad. It comes in so many different ways. But I think it's, it's interesting to notice it. masks from this I come back to wearing that mask in, in this case I think wearing the mask of playing for me helps me inspire myself and motivate myself to, to walk into that these fears it rejuvenates this this excitement in me to to play and move through my emotions with this mask and, and, and go for things beyond this, beyond this. this. This is a vehicle for helping me move forward. The mask can be a, a, a vehicle for moving forward in a direction that, that, is, is, that, that fear comes from. But I use this as, as that catalyst to, to, to push me forward.
feel that feeling, that wonder, that excitement, that or that happy, the the, the emotions, the sad, the, the despair, the anger, the the, the disappointment. I, I sit and I feel that way, playing this, wearing this mask, and and it helps me remind me that I am human and that I I can fall on my face, but I learn from that and I can go for these things. And the important thing is going for these things. I don't set goals. I like to walk in, in the direction, walk in a path and just just go for it. And if it feels good, go for it. And if it, it really walk a path, make a decision and, and start obstacles and opportunities that come from walking down that path and it will help you so much it will help you learn so much if you just take the steps the fear sets in it's scary but take the steps and find something that can help you move forward in that direction in a positive way in a way that that does excite you and that playing helps me be realistic and, and, and take these steps and, f and further be me and feel my emotions. It can come from dance, it can come from writing, it can, but, but being realistic and having this catalyst, this mask in your life to, to move forward. This tool on a tool belt. Another idea. It's not right or wrong, it's just noticing and going. <laughs>